good morning, good afternoon, good evening, whatever time it is you're watching this video. Thank you so much for clicking on my channel. We are here. We have made it to the very last day of 2019. That is some crazy-ish. I hate to sound like a total old person, but it's true. Like every year goes faster and faster and faster and it it's just like gone. Um, but it is New Year's Eve and I hope all of you out there watching this had an amazing New Year's and I hope that your 2020 is coming off to a great start. Without further ado, I'm going to do a super fun, dramatic look. I'm going to try something totally different. At least I think I'm going to try something totally different. I feel like I do this and then at the end of the day I'm like, it's kind of the same as all my looks. But I mean, we are who we are, you know? What are we going to do about it? So anyway, without further ado, if you want to see how this turned into this, then just go ahead and keep watching and let's do this. I'm going to go ahead and use my MAC uh, primer in soft ochre. And I'm just gonna place that all over my lids with this flat elf brush. I think is it elf? Yeah. So now taking kind of a packed uh, blending brush, I'm going to go into Poet from the Tati Beauty um, Volume 1 palette. So I was really inspired to do like a burgundy look, but I don't really have a strong burgundy, but this will do for now. Hopefully it works out. Anyway, that's my story. I'm just packing that on first. And I'm just gonna kind of keep piling it to make it as dark as possible. Cause I really did want this to be like super dark and intense. Cause you know, why not? Bringing it through the crease all the way up to like the bridge of my nose. Although this is the bridge of my nose, I don't know, you know what I mean, like the inside bridge of my nose. Once I get that placed where I want it, then I'm gonna go back to intensify. Open up. You Bitch, you won't be my and I am bringing it into the inner corner as well. So now with a fluffy, a fluffier blending brush, grab this one. It's just kind of, it's still pretty dense, but it's just bigger, you know? It's big. I'm just gonna take it, it has no product on it, and I'm just gonna kind of swirl it all over the edges to soften this up. Get it nice and blowy and hoey. Blowy and hoey, wow. This is not a kid's channel, guys. BRB, this side is about to get its match on. This is what's going on right now. I know, it looks crazy. Just, just, you know, it takes, it, it's a process. It's always gonna look crazy when you're doing drama. So I want it darker than this currently, so I'm gonna go into Ritual, which is this dark brown shade, and basically I'm going to put it over the Poet color, which was that burgundy shade, to try to make it like a much darker burgundy, because it's looking a little pink for my taste. I mean, it's definitely not like, ooh, pink, but it's looking pinker than burgundier. Is that a word? So let's get this more intense. Using the same brush, I'm not switching because I ain't got time for that. I'm gonna go into Ritual. Switching, what I mean by I'm not switching is I'm going back to the small brush. I, I don't have the, it's not the big one, it's the small one. Anyway, this is what's happening. I'm just gonna do the same thing. I'm literally just gonna place it over but I do want it to be burgundy still, so let's let's just give this a second here. First impression, you OPN. We should be closer to friends. 
if you open I mean the reality is burgundy is really just red and brown anyway, right? Okay, do you like that? But I'm gonna go back into Poet, the burgundy shade, and I'm just gonna kind of start layering these both together. So if you just see me do this over and over again, I'm layering that brown and that reddish burgundy-ish shade together to make it a more intense burgundy. And I'm just gonna do this until it's the color that I want it to be. Yes. <laughs> okay, yes, this is the intensity that I was going for. Just, just hang on. We're gonna get there, I promise. I think. Uh, so now, 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 now. Mm -hmm. I really am gonna look like I got punched in the face. I'm realizing this, but I'm gonna go for it anyway. I'm gonna go and put a blue right in the center here. So instead of like a normal blue, I'm gonna go into the metallic from memory. Um, that's this color here. So it leans, it does lean on the blue side, but it's like a gray. So we're gonna go with that. And if I feel like I need more blue, which I think I'm going to, I'm gonna add blue on top of it. I'm just gonna use my finger and I'm just going to tap it right in the middle here. We should be closer to friends if you Ooh, I really, really like that. It looks really cool. I mean, it's it's a lot, but like, that's what I was going for. So I did wanna stay true to my original vision, which is just to have like this pop in blue somewhere in the center. So I'm gonna go into ColourPop, luckily. So that's this color here. I'm just gonna use the same finger. Hopefully it doesn't mess it up. And I'm just going to put it on my finger and put it right here. Alright, that's blue. I love it. Whoa, I just got white. Oh, fucking it! Alright, a little bit more light on there. It looks so cool. It is New Year's after all, so I think I am going to add a little pop of glitter. So I'm gonna go back into the Tati palette and do the glitter shade for memory. So this shade right here, let's do it. Ooh, okay, that's like silver. So I'm just gonna very like, just maybe like a tap. Let me get my face on and then we're gonna finish the eye look at the end because that's when I blow out the bottom. But we can't do that yet. We gotta get a face on. Cause, well, that's just my method. This is a creative process. You know what I mean? Clearly. We got a face going here. And we're gonna do eyebrows. Eyebrows are boring, I'm gonna speed this up. I know, why did I even bother with this? I, I know, I know. Now let's get to the nitty gritty and blow out this bottom lash line. Yes, because if we're doing dramatic, let's just do it. Like really, really, really do it. Taking this little flesh, flesh, fluff brush thing. And I'm gonna go into Poet, which was that burgundy shade. And I'm going to do the bottom of my lashes. Yes, baby. Yeah. Okay, so now I'm going to um, add some blue because, you know, let's, 
let's like match this thing. I'm going to the ColourPop Luckfully and I'm gonna take an angle brush. I'm just going to use this. I'm gonna pick it up here and I'm going to very carefully line the eye with it. I'm kind of going in the water line. Well, by kind of, I mean I'm really going in the water line. I love that. Love it! All right, so I'm going to do the same on top here. I don't know if I can get it in frame because, you know what, I'm old. I can't see from this far away. <laughs> so, this is what I have done. I think I like it. I think it's pretty cool. I mean, if I could see, that'd be great. I got too much shit in my eyes. The reality is, it's dramatic AF. So we gotta get probably some lashes on, and we gotta we gotta finish this look. Um, so be right back. I just need to spritz myself because I am looking so freaking matte and for those of you that have been here well, you know I hate looking matte. So this is my homemade setting spray because I have dry skin so I have to be really careful as to how much alcohol are in my setting sprays and although I do want it to make my makeup last, I almost more importantly just want it to set all the powders so they don't look so flat, you know? I just have to wait for this to dry. What lip color should I wear? I feel like a dramatic, like, like a nude would not complement this very well, but at the same time, I feel like the eyes are so much that do I really wanna go with a dramatic lip? Ooh, I don't know, I don't know, guys. What should I do? Okay, um, let's try a dark lip. Let's, let's try a few lip colors. Let's just do this. We are gonna go in with Better Not Pout. Oh, how fitting for the season from Kylie. And the lip liner is the same thing. All right. Let me just not be ridiculous here. <laughs> really like this combo going on here. I think it goes, I feel like it's light enough and bright enough to not like be too much, but it goes, you know, like it's not a totally off colored red thing going on. I, I think I actually nailed it. I nailed it. Because I said we'd try a few, let's 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 try like one tone darker and see how that goes. So I think these are slightly darker. I'm not 100% sure, but I think they are. So I'm gonna go in with the Laura Mercier pencil in deep wine. Okay. Now I'm gonna take this color from Bare Minerals in Devious. And again, I think, yeah, it's dark. Oh, mm. kind of smells like chocolate. Hmm. Honestly, I do feel like this is a better match overall. However, I also feel like, I don't know, I'm just not used to this intense eye thing with these intense lips thing. And I'm not sure, honestly, if I will be able to make it all night with this combo. So I'm just gonna pack both of them with me because I don't hate either one of them and this is already on. So why not? May have slightly gone crazy on the overlining of the lips. Meh. A few details that I have to fix and then I'll be right back with my outro and you guys can see the final look. Mwah. <laughs> 
This is the final look. This is how I will be bringing in 2020. I hope you enjoyed the look. I really, 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 really like how it turned out, actually. I haven't done this much drama in a really long time, and I don't know why. I actually really, really like it. It was really fun, um, and I just enjoyed the process of doing it. I think sometimes it's so easy to just get kind of locked in your ways and kind of decide, I don't know, I don't know. It's just, it's been a while since I played with color and just got really, really creative with it. So I had a lot of fun and I hope you really enjoyed watching this um, video. It wasn't really a tutorial, so I don't think I will call it a tutorial. It was more of a mm, get ready with me, check out how I got this look, I don't know. Um, but if you did and you like these videos, please let me know down below. Um, if you haven't already, please, please subscribe. Um, I am looking forward to growing my channel in 2020, um, which might mean that I should not say what I'm about to say next, but I'm gonna say it anyway because I feel like it's super, super important. Primaries are this year for the presidential election. 2020 is gonna be a really, really big year. Um, and in California, which is where I'm from and where I live, uh, primaries are March 3rd. So for all of you out there who want to have a say on who is gonna show up on the election ballot come November, please don't forget to register to vote. It literally takes less than five minutes. It's super easy, super important. Um, and if you wanna have a say in the primary candidate, you have to be registered as a Democrat if you wanna do it by mail. However, if you don't want to do it by mail, if you're going to walk into a voting booth anyway, you don't have to be registered as a Democrat. You can be registered for any party at all. So just know that much. Um, super important for us to do our civic duty. I know life is busy. I know life is hard. I know we all have a shit ton of things going on, but it's important. So registered about. Don't forget to vote on March 3rd, and that's, that's all I'll say about that. Remember, everyone, to spread love, not hate. Mwah. Love you guys. Bye.